Hello everyone, I'm Zelda Kelly with Psychic Secrets. Today is the Ancestor message for July 12th of 2023. Today we're going to use another deck and I have this beautiful Lenormand deck that I want to use and I think you're really going to enjoy this particular reading. Now this will be for all signs, however you may not resonate with this, maybe part, maybe all, maybe sort of, kind of. But I've got to tell you, this is all good. This is all good because, you know what? We can't expect every reading for us to connect with, right? So I'm just going to cut the cards here. We read these differently. We read these in pairs. And I these you do not read in reverse or I do not. Okay, so we have the broom. We have the sun card. We have the tower card. We have this bear, and in the middle, we have the moon, and we have this clover. Aren't these beautiful? The colors are just radiant, gorgeous, beautiful. Okay, so here's the thing. As we go through this, I do want to say that you're going to see the playing card deck on the top corner here. I'm sorry, let me move my lamp because we are getting a little bit of, of glare here. These cards tend to be a little on the shiny side. All right, so you're going to see the cartomancy deck, but these are not close to the meanings of the tarot. All right, so just so you know that. From what I'm seeing here is, now there could be similar, but there is definitely some differences. So with this card here, this is the broom and the whip. Basically, I'm just going to say you're whipping things into shape and you're cleaning out what you need to be cleaning out. That's it. You're working very, very hard for this to come about. 11 is definitely an angel number and is definitely, I'm going to say, in a very good position for you. You're starting off first and foremost, and there is a money position here with this, with this grounding, beautiful club. I'm going to say that this is something that you've had to do for a long time based on this tower. Now, you see, this tower is not like the tower in the tarot because it is not being struck by lightning. It's not being falling down. It's not collapsing. There's no people falling off of it. But what this does mean is that you've been working a long time to build something in your life that you've been working on. And this helps you to just basically clean out the cobwebs. The one thing about the moon card is that you're using your intuition. And this eight of hearts means definitely that this has to do with your self-love, your intuition, your spirituality, the idea of this particular card coming to three and two is five and five, and biblical numerics is grace. So you've really been working hard to make things happen for you, and the ancestors bring this together to give you confirmation and to let you see. Now this bear, this bear is a sign of strength, loyalty. You see how he's looking over at things. And the fact that he's looking away from the reading means that now you're coming out of this difficult time. If he was over at this position and looking towards, you would be coming into a difficult time. But now you're coming out of it. The fact that he's over here and coming out of it. And I'm going to also say there's this grounding club up here, which is also could be money. I think you're just really putting things together the way that they need to be put together. I love this sun card. Look at him. Look at this expression. Isn't that marvelous? These are just beautiful cards. I wish you could see them in person. They're just, the graphics are just beautiful. This ace of diamonds is a timing card and it can mean coming into the summer. Well, we are in that now. And coming into this summer, I think you're going to realize things are working more in your favor now that you've been working through this situation. It is really taking you by physically working through things, pushing it out. You know, sometimes you, you sit 
and you just think, oh, what is there something to do? And then all of a sudden you just get up and, and you just do something to distract you. Well, it's a little more than that, but hopefully you can understand the analogy because that's how it is. This clover, I've got to say, is one of the best between the sun and this clover that we have for you today is the best. This clover means good luck, good benefits, good abundance and blessings coming. The six of diamonds definitely means that you've been working through it. There's been some delay, but now you're moving forward. The ancestors really know, right? Let's Let's grab one more card of this beautiful deck and see how we end up. So I'm going to just cut the deck a couple of three, four times. There we go. Now, what is the final message? Drum roll, please. The final message, and that is this. This is, you're still not done yet. There's going to be more things coming to you, maybe even more communication being revealed to you. Isn't this beautiful? This sealed letter means that there's more to come. You're going to see more communication. There's more coming to you, and it's not going to be bad. The bad is leaving you. It's going to be confirmation of what you're doing and how, how you're handling things and where things are right now. Very good. This seven of spades can mean that it may be a secret. Now I'm going to say that. But you'll find out, and that's usually what happens when people try to keep secrets from us. You'll find out what it is. You're going to use your intuition. You're already working on things to make sure you're whipping things into shape and you're just sweeping out the old and getting ready for the new to come in. Very good. I love this for you. And you know what? The ancestors really do know how to lead these readings, don't they? Let me know in the comments if you resonate with this. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, come on over to PsychicSecrets.com. I'm at extension 11. I'm happy to talk with you. And also, if you'd like to look for me on social media, I'm Psychic Zelda Kelly. I can't wait to bring another one of these to you again. I love these cards. So I'm going to do this for a little while. I like these cards. It's different, right? It's different. Sometimes we need something a little different to shake things up a bit, don't you think? You have a very blessed day. Thank you so much for allowing me to bring this to you, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.